So it's just Arnstar rotating around. But Arnstar won't stand for that one. Suneko, that Phoenix. It's been one hell of a hero through the last couple of weeks. Dandy skewed back underneath the T1 tower. The spear is down, he's in trouble. The Sunray will turn on. Miracle will try to keep up with it. The range is there. Miracle will find the kill. The Sunray still on it, but it won't get through. Thanks to the storm from Crit. Now Suneko's on the run. Miracle's looking for two, and he's going to get it as well. A double kill for OG to start up against Nami here in game one, and then make it thrice as No Tail will catch out Marana on the top lane with the help of the Crystal Maiden. Looking to keep eyes on the bottom lane and potentially catch out Moon, a difficult target to do so, but it's the mid lane where Dendi stomped on for the moment. Miracle gonna skewer him back right now. He puts down the Martian Machines, but Dendi is already dead. There was nowhere to go apart from down for the uh, last Dendi's dead. Seconds. Dendi is actually dead. Omni Slash to go. Fall out with a spin. There's no way for him to really survive that. Miracle gonna skewer forward. Suneko, no, he'll be able to just... Okay, with the Sunray and the damage from the tower, Miracle's gonna drop very low. There's bottom lane with just goes ham. Getting both Void and the Elder Titan flies on the run, but now finally Navi get themselves on that board. Running back behind the town, they can use the Centaur to tank it up with the Santa Blast there. They gotta find another one. Yeah. You might think that Magnus is just doing stacks right now to get his Blink Dagger. You don't actually know when it's going to come out, but maybe the March will Here stop they come. That Observant Ward sees a hell of a lot. Miracle going to jump in, goes to the Skewer Brute, brings him in range of Zaneko with the Spirit down. Then he's gone as well. OG, a perfect execution. They know exactly where they are. The Spirit Stomp's going to catch Didi Ra just in front of the T1 tower. They're okay with this right now until Miracle gets the pushback. Didi Ra goes for the call, but he's still completely stranded. You can Icarus dive forward, but it's already too late. The act is being lost, and OG get the better trade-off. They took the tier one tower on top. It seems as if they if they control the accent and the team fights, they just have no response to any sort of jump that OG oh, has. No tail. He's trying to push our style away from the creep wave. Dan, that crit from No Tail still doing work. He can just finish the job with a spin. There's no TP support coming in. Even if it was tried, the creep got killed off. Now style tries to go into the maze. No tail the sun strike. Sunray is not doing enough. And with a leap forward general, well, they can catch out this juggernaut. The question is, they still have enough damage? And the answer is no. That scan from OG is down. They want to see him, but Na'Vi, they actually go the long way around. And there's Miracle. It's going to break, but the call, it doesn't come in time from Didi Ra. Fly wants to turn. They've got a perfect Observer and Sentry on the hillside. So they see Na'Vi coming. Roshan will go down. Juggernaut has the Aegis Immortal. The Nova on the back end of the pit is actually causing problems for Moon, but it's a spin. Didi Ra gets the call out. Fly's going to go down. No tail. Too early on the dunk, but you've still got Seneca with the Sunray, allowing Didi Ra to escape. They burn the Aegis of the Immortal. Die Diving away, the Chronosphere only controlling Dendi, but with that laser, he can't get the hit off. Didi Ra comes in, moves so low, and he will drop down. They try and run away now. Seneko is still on the run, away from Notal, with that crew, he's able to finish the job. But Navi has managed to enter into the OG jungle to look in behind. And what are they going to find? Seneko, well, there's your blink call. They won't fly. Moon actually jumping through the arrogance. A three man chrono, including Seneko. Can he actually get the egg off? No, we can't. No, and Miracle comes through. We're going to follow up hit. There goes Giroli as well. Navi is going to get wiped. They thought they were the aggressors, but they're going to be sent back packing. Dendi maybe going to survive this one. Blink that gets off cooldown up on the hill and going home as quickly as he can. Oh boy, Navi were not ready for that one. I don't know how Tinker's supposed to show himself, though. There's a Yule's up now on the Elder Titan to catch him out. Miracle and Moon. Oh, that arrow is nice. The call as well. No tail. He's being pulled in a little bit too deep. A lot deeper than he really wanted to. The damage from Arstyle really isn't anywhere near enough, but they'll try and do it for it with the pull back out. Didi Ra's outside the base while General is locked down by Moon's Chronosphere. Good amount of duration left. There goes No Tail's Aegis. So finally, Navi have a, a way where they can maybe initiate on, on uh, No Tail and bring him down. And then the call. Two men caught out. Moon there as well. Crit's locked in, but the RP from Miracle keeping him out. Denny and General locked together. Denny's down. He'll have to buy back very, very quickly as Miracle skewer away under the cover of the ET. Splitter, Diddy Ra, Shockwave, as well as Nova down by the Crystal Maiden. So they never have to back off the heal. They've yep. been sitting outside oh, Nova's base Nova. for like the last five Smack bang minutes. in the middle of OG, the Omni Slash, and he's caught out, he's already down. That is actually a full dead. There is no buyback available for the Tinker and the Yule Scepter. Catching the Phoenix mid Icarus dives, and Aker is gone as well. And OG, they are putting the nails in the Navi coffin, and there it is. GG. OG will take game one of this best of three. They just seem to have Navi's. He's paced straight out. Oh, and I think Fly just played against him too many, <laughs> one too many times. You have mass auras. Uh, we're talking about how easy it is to slip in a Roshan. General being the uh, 
the Watchman. He, uh, we, he went arrow at first level. He actually can't get away from this one. There's no leap available. The stun's there. The sun strike from Miracle straight off. And there she is. OG will spill first blood. Top lane. Yeah, that's where you want to be looking. Crit, can he find the opening with that movement speed? They look towards General. The Hex to start with. Art Style powers in Carnescourt and close up to bounce around. General leaps away. Art Style keeps that restoration up, giving General a little bit more life and they'll escape it. So the smoke unsuccessful there for OG. Snako wants to dive in and he's going to go for it as well. Turns on the Sunray and fly the hero which he's manipulating so well. It's going to actually turn on him even with the extra stun. It was enough to create the space and fly will drop. Nice sentry ward from crit. Maybe he'll get two observer wards with that. At the same time when he starts to deep ward. Okay, the sun strike. Left on top of a hillside. Well, at least you know she's not going to be coming down from that. But they are still, well, okay, they're lingering. Moon has Roar available, and now they go into dog form. Soneko into the Sun Strike, catching up Moon with that bouncing the Paralyzed, and Karska just won't get away from him. Didi Ra, he needs one big hit. He does not have it yet with a leap forward. Moon will go down. Look at the Vladimir's over on the Lycan, so just slip in. Soneko. Successful scan <laughs> on Art Style. And they. Sineko's coming up behind him, however, so our style will move forward. He'll dive in. Sineko getting hexed up the finger of death. Make sure he's gone very, very quickly. Now the Chronosphere. Did he right? He only caught our style, however. No one from OG. In fact, no tail drops in there just to make him feel a little bit better about things. Mid lane, uh, that's the big one's out. Crit. Again, the perfect initiation. Slips through the trees. Did you run? Wants a revenge on the Sonic Wave. Hits all five heroes, but it's minimal damage. The Sun Strike. It does the real one. Nicely taking out every tree. To that south side, Art Style gonna get stunned up. There's that call snap going to work. Came in way too close of what appeared to be a futile attempt to deny the tower. Ends up feeding his life. To rely on is the pieces of work corners. That's a very long pull. Diddy Ra just walked underneath oh, the hawk. No. They saw him perfectly. And OG. So now there's only one target, okay. even if he didn't have any. Okay. Okay. General seems to be in the perfect position to get Chrono. Uh, Miracle, well, there's your Sun Stray. They're able to get a time lock off him as well. And there's your Chronosphere catching out Moon 2. Miracle's going to burn. They blink as a Death Ward. Moon sticking down. The Nova is perfectly positioned as well. The Sonic Wave will connect. They bring down the Invoke. He'll be back in a moment. And now the Lion, no Tal can't escape from this one. Turn on the Sun Ray. The Dog's on the run, but Miracle's back into the engagement. Able to pick up the Queen of Pain. So Denny is down. And now it's Navi retreating. You start to see how money is able to win OG's game here. No target higher than the tree lines and almost no life. And you can see him, like General was just standing there right in front of him the they entire had the, time. Goodbye, Snaker. Um, <laughs> they had the smoke, but not the element of surprise. There yeah. was Miracle on front with the Aegis and everyone behind them. Mm. They wanted him to go down at the start. That was the play. Fly, oh, the swap into the raw. Fly still got more life. General can't even kill off a vengeful spirit. Beat it, up, beat it out with the raindrops. <laughs> Protected by the magical damage. Nice cheap item. Nice balance. And that fight, they also did not have sentries, or else they would have just killed the... Oh, wow. instantly. Crit. Crit. This is just... It's not even his home. This is home invasion right now against Na'Vi. They just jump in. Crit, he meant to pay the price for this one. He's trying to dodge the sun ray, but it's not going to be possible. But it doesn't also matter. The tier 2 tower dropped on top. OG's coming in. The Necros are up. The Forge, the Boars, basically the whole menagerie is here for OG. Ready to push into the tier 3 towers. And hopefully in the game for OG. Well, they'll try it. Na'Vi, still 20 seconds. The question is, can OG pressure early enough and do enough damage to the racks where they can bait out the buyback? Now R style, three hits from Miracle, and he's already down with no buyback available on the Witch Doctor. They don't have the combo, so Navi have to just let one Rax go. And they don't have their combination to even repel OG. Maybe they can take out one or two heroes, but it's going to commit everything they've got to do it. R style has been getting popped before the fights even begin. This is problematic, and then the jump in, the Sun Strike, perfect mark, but Dendi triggers a regeneration rune. He'll actually survive through this. But do you see a Miracles Network? <laughs> do you see his items? <laughs> yeah, he is, he's a one-man army. I say he's a one-man army. Technically, he's got the power of magic on his side. As Faceless Void, does he want to commit the Chronosphere at the moment? There goes your Moonlight Shadow. They're trying to get Faceless Void out there with the Sentry Ward down, and the Gem of Truth side also being lost. Faceless Void, he's gone. 50 seconds on the sideline. He's just going to tick out in about 10 seconds' time. Oh, Swap, Fly, General. But that Ether Lens is such a long way from home. And they buy back instantly over on the Marana. This is it right now for Navi. It's defend or die. 
It's the only way this really does end. And with a deafening blast from Miracle, he catches three. You're diving from Tanaka, now going with the Death Ward, as well as the Nova. OG just want to bail out of here. They'll end up losing the Ventures. And a Miracle! He's on a slither of life and Deddy! Crit's able to stun him, control him, allowing Moon to finish the job. You're able to get the stun out from General, chasing no tail into the tree lines. So tick off that Lycan from your list. But Moon also on the run, so low. Is there Sunray? Is there something? No, there's a double, basically, Ravage from Crit, keeping Arstyle and Seneco out. They're on the run, there's rotation on the way. It's coming in from the Marana, in from the north, and maybe they can find one crit. Yep, there's the arrow on the tree line. OG will end up losing a couple of heroes. That style. The Observer Ward allowed Miracle to see exactly what he wanted. The stun's out too, and now with the stun strike, Danny try to tank it up with him. Shouldering that low, they get rid of the Forge Spirits. Now Didira moves forward. General also BKBs up the arrow. It flies past Fly, but the Sunray will still do the work. Navi are finding openings. Didira, remember, he's still got Chronosphere. They just need a target, and now he's got one. It's no -tell. He needs the two of them together. And almost had it. No-Tail moved down south, but not outside the Chronosphere. General's going to stick with him. Then now into the tree lines. Can Didira finish the job? Does he even have the damage output? Arrows are flying through, but it's too far off target. General needs to keep that star fall going. No tell. Ghost royalty form. Won't happen. Moon beating onto the back of the boars. I don't even know who you, who you get if you get to your raw or if you're dead your raw. I don't think you can catch. Uh, they're going to force it. Blink forward. They're going to find No tell over in the tree lines. They want to kill him first before he actually. Okay, now there goes your BKB. They've at least got that out of him. And No Tail's going ham. He really wants a kill. He goes in for Artsile. Able to find him. No Tail will pop from this one, or if he will, he. I don't think he will. He's going to live through this. Taking out the racks. Okay, the Starfall's going to do the job. General the Maelstrom procs as well. OG taking considerable damage at Moon. Caught in the back of the Chronosphere. Fly. They want to kill him off quickly. They're able to do so. General still got himself a double kill. Now Refresher. Moon can come back in looking for another Raw as General tries to stop No Tail from getting these Megas up and running. Then he helping out. No Tail dropping low. No Tail gets the Megas. The Sonic Wave. Spill on the Miracle as well as Moon too. So taking considerable damage, but it's Megas for OG and Na'Vi tap out. They say GG, 39 minutes. This series is over and it goes 2-0 to OG. OG just toying with Dick at that point of the game. The Hex blow on the first time, Refresher roared the second time and OG made quick work, Na'Vi. Well, one way to get back on schedule, OG looking absolutely strong.